guys, we're here in Tokyo and we're gonna go to this city of I don't know how to say it. Sekaido. Sekaido Art Shop and we're gonna do a push shopping. So I'm really ready to explore and take you guys with us and we'll do a massive art haul and um, you see the tiles, so let's go. This is totally what I've come here for. The wash that are the whole bind ones that I can't get where I live. So I'm really excited to get them. Oh my gosh, they're only like $2. $2.60. That is great. I was gonna do like a walk away to the sunset shop. Hey, that's walk. I have bought some stuff and we're gonna go check it out um, at the hotel. So, see you in a second. Okay, so we're gonna do a quick haul of everything I've got and I'm gonna go eat some ramen, I think, because I'm pretty hungry. So, I saw Fran there at the shop and that was really cool i was really excited and i was like fran i think i kind of shocked her but i'm sorry fran if i shocked you if you're watching this uh, impressive. Oh, you're filming. Yeah. is it now yeah <laughs> randomly met Franard here in sukaido so <laughs> is nice it? Nice you. <laughs> yeah yeah that's it and i was like I got really excited. Um, yeah, she was really nice, so that was cool. I'm just gonna take you through the stuff that I bought. I bought a lot. I spent about $200, I think it is. I'm saying dollars because the way that I read yen, it makes sense to put, say it's dollars and then convert it in my brain to pounds. I don't know, it makes sense to me. So yeah. Um, I got this Archer's Aquarelle watercolor paper cold press i wanted to try this for a while so i was like yeah i want to buy that um the reason that i bought a lot of stuff is because where i live there's not any art shops um we have to go quite far away to actually go to an art shop so it's quite nice for me to browse and find stuff that i wouldn't find just like looking online so it's cool to just have a look around and buy stuff and i don't really get to experience that so i probably went a bit overboard but i will definitely use all this stuff so yeah, I got that one. I got the Langdon, oh sorry, Langton, which I know I like. I had a small version of this and I filmed a sketchbook in a day video with it, with the small one. And I really liked the way the paper worked. I never regretted using that for my sketchbook in a day because it was like enjoyable to use paper. So I'm glad that I got that one. And I also got these two sketchbooks because I really like the artwork on the front. I know that's not really a reason to buy 
sketchbooks um well they're watercolor paper not sketchbooks these are all watercolor paper and i know that i will use them because that's what i use primarily in with gouache and watercolors so i just thought they were really nice covers and yeah i just like them a lot i nearly bought some shanine k watercolors but they were about 150 dollars for a small pack like that and i was like do i really need this like i have I have some at home in the tubes I don't necessarily need them but it's something that I really want and I've always wanted to buy but I just put it back because I knew that I would buy I was buying a lot of other stuff so I just you know it made sense not to buy it right now I can always order that online because I know it's something that I want I got this art book by I don't know how to say her name Maruti um she's on Instagram you might you might know her she's quite famous and I follow her and I've really been a big fan of her stuff for a long time so I had to get this. It's just really nice. I think it will give me a lot of inspiration and the colours are nice and I can just flick through this when I need some inspiration and get to drawing. I think it's handy to have stuff like this around to help keep the uh, art block away. I got this um, pencil case which looks like pesto. I saw it and I was like yep. Yeah, that's pesto so I needed to buy it. It's one of those pencil cases that you open it and you push it down and it stands up by itself so you can just pick out stuff that you want to use and that's really great. I got some pencils, um, some Holbein coloured pencils which I've never tried before so I thought I should, I would give them a whirl. I just bought a couple of colours that I knew I would like and I also got this white liner pen which is supposed to be really opaque. So you can just do white lines over the top of stuff. I also got this drawing gum, which is like masking fluid. I don't know, I've never tried it before in a pen. So I wanted to try it. So I thought this was the time to buy it. I do have to say that actually a lot of this stuff was pretty cheap for what it was. Like I was really shocked by um, the prices. So for me, for me, usually it's more expensive than that. So I think I saved some money here. I got ooh, this massive bag. I think this was my best purchase because I was looking forward to trying these out. They're Holbein gouache paints in the big tubes. I think you saw me buying them. I got colours of pinks and white. And I also got this gel medium which will texture the paper underneath. Because as you guys know that I really like texture in my work. So I think using this underneath will form like a textured thing and then you can paint on top and I'm really looking forward to trying that out. I just got lots of these paints really because I basically I just really wanted to try them. I've seen a few people on Instagram using these and I've always thought I want to try those. I couldn't get them on Amazon or they were just really expensive so this was worth a try. I think each bottle big one was about four dollars each and then the smaller ones were about two fifty each and I think that's just insane for me I would think online I think they were about 12 pounds each which was probably about 15 dollars each on Amazon so I was like yes I'm definitely stocking up on these and that's basically it I bought a lot I'm very happy with my purchases and we're gonna go eat some ramen now I hope you guys enjoyed this video and having a look around Sokaido store with me I definitely had a really cool experience especially meeting Fano that was a really cool surprise and yeah I am having a really great time in Tokyo I don't know how much I will show you of that um yeah that's basically it thanks for watching guys and hope to see you next time bye